Good morning from the Redstone Void. This is Shadow8472, and today I will be showing you how to build analog control panels and use their signals. Let's get started. Redstone has 16 power states, ranging from full strength to off. For most purposes, like turning lights on, off is off and everything else is on. When using analog, though, you tap into the full information density of a wire. The control panel is simple to wire up. Just place a row of at most 15 solid blocks with redstone dust on it and buttons on the front. Comparators are the go-to choice for moving analog signals, but plunking down a line of them would be a mistake as they work just as well alternating with solid blocks. For even better optimization, take out every other remaining comparator and replace it with redstone dust. The repeater analog wire shown here is bulkier, more resource intensive, sends the signal off at a slight diagonal, and it gets the signal there just a little bit faster. It can only be built in 15 block segments. Mix and match it with a comparator wire to suit your needs. Now for the star of the show. This little chip detects a redstone signal that is exactly at power level 1 when it arrives. Anything more gets repeated and chokes out the signal at the second comparator. To build it, you just place your dust, place a comparator, another comparator in subtract mode, a repeater, and a redstone dust. Unfortunately, these redstone chips are not directly tileable. If you want to have them in a nice little array, stick a repeater on the end of the first chip, then you go comparator, repeater on two ticks, solid block, solid block, redstone dust, and comparator on subtract mode. Alternate between these two variants of the chip and you'll end up with something like this. Keep in mind you'll need to stagger them so that each chip is listening to a different dust on the line. As far as applications go, I developed this for my nether elevator for simplifying its control system. I can also see this chip being very useful in redstone computing one compact cell for four bits of memory. Anyway, feel free to play around with the circuit to suit your purposes. That is how you learn redstone after all, by manipulating other people's designs, making them better and stuff. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.